Hi, this is Lady Lex UK and this is a Dreams tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own stickers in Dreams and also I'm going to show off my footprint uh, sticker set and how you can actually use those as footprints in your game. So two little tutorials for the price of one today. Right, let's start off with how to make your own stickers. Now if you've ever made anything um, in terms of painting, you all know how difficult it is to keep everything on the same plane and not have some weirdness. So as you're drawing, um, you might get something like this. It's not flat, it's 3D. You sometimes get that the paint comes out at a funny angle and does stupid things like this. And it's like, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted something flat. And um, it doesn't matter how much you try, um, it, it is very difficult to get a, a flat sticker-like painting loose like this in the, in the air. So this is how I recommend you get around that. You take a sculpt. I'm going to go with this cube. I'm going to make it nice and big like this. Okay, and we're going to use this as a canvas. So I'm going to stamp that down. So there is our cube and I'm going to come out of sculpt mode, go into paint mode. Um, I'm just going to pick black. Um, instead of brush flex, I'm going to choose draw flex. I find that this is, um, you get a much finer, better line than um, if you are using the brush and it's a more solid line. Then you want to go push down on the D-pad until you get to the size you want because although it's showing you this nice little square um, it's not going to do that we need surface snap yeah and we can see our little spot there okay and I'm going to draw my sticker little Christmas tree okay and you can change the color you can make the fleck larger, you can change the fleck shape, you can do all sorts of things. Now this is just colouring this in. This is very rough and ready, I'm just doing something nice and quick and easy. Um, we're going to put a brown. There we go, we have a Christmas tree. And um, I can leave it at that now um, and come out and I can scope into something else and do some more work and everything. Right, now, when I go back to my painting, um, I go, wow, well, mm, no, I want to add some things to that. So go into paint mode. I'm going to add some red tinsel to this. Now as you can see, I can't see anything that I'm painting. There we go, that's better. Because it's painting underneath. There we are, there's a little bit of tinsel on my tree. And let's do, just do some baubles. And we'll get a uh, yellow out and let's put a star on the top there we go so there is my sticker and you can see it is in two bits I've got the tree and I've got the tinsel and the star so to blend those two two together you select them both like you would a sculpt and you merge the paintings and now I have my multicolored sticker. There we go. Now I recommend um, if you're going to do a drawing, do it in one go. It's much easier for you than trying to uh, lay them out. But because it's you have to be, especially if you've moved it off. If you've moved it off your block um, and then try to paint it, um, you, you're best trying to get it back on that block, work out where the painting is going to be and manoeuvre it in position so that you can layer them all up. It's a little difficult, so it's probably best to do your stickers in one go if you can. 
but you can merge the painting so you can make uh, changes to it afterwards. Uh, just remember to merge them together, otherwise you'll have two separate pieces and you don't want that. So there you go, that's how you make your stickers. Ta-da! Right, here is my footprint sticker set. I've just stamped that in from the Dreamverse. Um, you can go in, if you're in um, just standard mode here, you can go in and s remove that from the group and then delete the group. Or you can delete these um, individually like this uh, and pick the ones that you need. Um, so once you've got the footprint that you want, I will show you the effect we're trying to get here. So here is my player and I'm walking around and I'm leaving footprints. I've left them as black. You can obviously fiddle about with the colour to match the, the ground that you want. And you can also make them slightly, uh, change the opacity of them and all sorts of things. But let's have a look at the code and see how this works. So as you can see, uh, on my player, I've got two emitters, one on each foot. And they are linked up to our puppet interface. Now you'll find that in the controller logic. So you open up controller logic and here's that purple thing and uh, we want page one and at page one on the bottom we've got left heel strike and right heel strike and foot impact we don't need that we just need these two left heel and right heel strike and these are wired to these two emitters so this emitter is going to emit for the for the right heel and this emitter for the left heel. So as the feet go down and strike the floor, um, they are linked to the power on these emitters. If we look at the emitters, this is the settings you want. So I've got it set to uh, emit speed of zero and rotation speed of zero. Um, I've left that, uh, that is alone. Ignore parent speed I've left alone. Uh, 0.1 is the time between emits. Uh, once emitted object lifetime, this is how long you want that footprint to exist in your world. I recommend you don't have that uh, affinity or a very high number um, because it's just going to put lots and lots of paint scope, uh, sculpts into your um, level and um, that can cause lag and all sorts of things and messages to come up. So I wouldn't uh, have that too long. Um, I've got max emitted at once set to 100. And this was the, the, the change that I had to make because I originally had it set um, at one and I was finding that it was only giving me um, a footstep every other step. So um, I had a look at Narvik Gutten's set, uh, set, set up and they had it set at 100 and now it works. So um, I'm just going to leave it at that. And then the object to emit is going to be your footstep. So if I lift him up and I select this emitter, you can see the emitter gizmo is pointing to underneath his foot. And if I open up that emitter, you can now see, whoops, the footprint that I'm emitting. It's actually a bit far over that. There we go, that's a bit better. It's a bit big as well. Um, you need to get that the right size before you uh, select it because it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare uh, to do it afterwards. Um, so we're going to delete object to admit there. There's our footprint now. Let's get this into position. Okay, so we've decided it's a bit big. That's, that's a bit more like it, isn't it? That's the right sort of size. Okay, so we're now going to object to emit. You don't have to place it in position. Uh, it's going to put um, the uh, footprint uh, where that ball is. So we're going to 
select it, there you see it pits pings straight up to under his foot. You need, might need to play about with this to get this to the right position. I suggest lifting up the, the player, not trying to do it with the feet on the ground. Put your player back down. And there we go. And you do that for both feet. There we go. You notice there's one big foot and one little foot because we changed one to make it smaller. There we are. There we go. And of course, you can have any sort of footprint you want. Um, my footprint designs, um, we've got uh, shoes, bare feet, um, trainers, dog paws, and uh, bird paws. Paw paws? That's not the right word. Bird feet. Right, so, um, but you can design your own. You can have your own um, little feet, little, little uh, horseshoes, or little cloven hooves, or anything you, you fancy uh, that's going to leave a mark uh, on the ground. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So there's the settings that you need, and you have them in both the emitters. You stick the emitters on the feet, and you make sure their gizmo is going to emit your footprints just underneath the foot. You might need to play about with it to get it in the right position. There you go. I hope that was useful for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in your dreams.